Train yard. Are you there? <sighs> what took you so long? I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! We can get up through there!
everything all right? Dad? Get easy. Drink this. It'll help. You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? I'd have thought about it. <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? What makes you risk so much to come here? The Divine Source. I know what you're looking for. But I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist, too. In his last years, he was... obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him. Including me. Our last conversation... was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken. But he died for something. So you believe the Divine Source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing, no. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Going in! Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. We've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep.
alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on.